Okay, so <clears throat> trying to add this one ounce of uh, alcohol. This is one of the stoves I refer to as a nickel stove. So we're going to <clears throat> do a little thing. Again, Monster Ave Jim asked me why it got hot enough to melt a penny. I don't really have that answer. But let's see what we can do with a single burn, shall we? And add just a little for a prime. Nice new penny on there, as you can see. Now it's burning. I can feel the heat, but it's just still too bright outside to see it. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is just let the camera run. position without stopping so you can really see what's happening. here. We'll see how long it burns on an ounce of fluid and we'll see what it does to that penny. Hmm.
well, I think we can see that the penny, <laughs> the, the zinc, it is no match for the stove. So when I was asked the question, why do I call it a nickel stove, you can see the penny, and uh, now, can it generate the heat to melt a zinc penny? That, without a doubt, you can see. It is fully fluid. I don't know how much alcohol <laughs> time-wise is left, but when it goes out, we'll I'll show you what we got. Um, just grab a twig for a second and show you that that is very fluid. Wow, 13 minutes and still burning. I did not thought that one possible. I haven't really timed these in a while. It hasn't been quite that long because it was the 
starting, but I'll check the actual time when this goes out. <clears throat> but I think you can understand why I refer to this now <laughs> as a uh, as a nickel stove, huh? I mean, an old copper penny would be fine. The zinc melts at like 700 degrees Fahrenheit. So. It's still not dark enough to truly see the flames, but they may be going up. Still pretty hot. That's just radiant heat now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the can's still really warm. That's just radiant heat. The fire is out. So anyway, that, my friends, is why this is not a penny stove. This is a nickel stove. <laughs>